So, BFDIA 10 just released, which is interesting considering we didn't get an announcement for it. Now, the episode was weirdly written, but not in a bad way for some reason. A lot of the segments were actually really funny. They tried to replicate the humor of pre-hiatus BFDIA and honestly I think they did it quite well. But for some reason, this episode felt a bit empty. I felt like this episode was mainly made to fix plot holes. Like, for example, they showed us that the contestants forget about hell when they leave it. And also, Jelton specifically told everyone not to tell the announcer that he got eliminated, which fixes the problem that one seen in BFB 29. Also, side tangent, I'm really mad Jelton got eliminated this episode. Him and Fry's were really funny, and I think he adds a lot to the show. It makes me so mad they tried to derail him in BFDIA 9. Anywho, I love that we got to see more 3D parts in the show. It honestly feels weird, but refreshing. I could already feel the reanimations being made. I also loved how we got to see Flower make a cameo, as it gives me hope we will see more of her in BFDIA. I'm not saying that she should join BFDIA, but what I'm hoping is to see her personality change so that her sudden personality change in BFB makes more sense. Or they'll leave that to IDFB, I don't know. Anyways, can I just talk about how much I hate Lewis? Like, his first appearance was really weird because Book specifically said Yo-Yo City is abandoned, but we see Lewis and like a thousand Davids right there, and now he's back and they're in his car. <sighs> Good thing they killed him. The Beautiful Face Devotion Institute is a weird team, and it kind of annoys me that they throw the previous teams out of the window because having most of the cast on one team is a bad idea. Like, I guess it did make for some funny moments, but I just hope the team splits next episode. But you know what? I'm going to be grateful. A day where BFDI episode releases is a great day. Plus, BFDI will never be fully perfect, and that's okay. So, overall, I'd rate the episode a 7 out of 10. It was pretty good. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Wait a minute, Tom Scuzz